Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 22 of my one hour flipping challenge. Today we're going to be doing items under 100 GP, uh, which is actually a really good suggestion uh, from one of my viewers, so thank you very much for that. Uh, so any item that's under 100 GP to buy the item is fair game. I can sell the items for whatever I want, uh, but the buy price has to be under 100 GP. Uh, I'll be interested to see if there's actually any good margins available at this price point because it's fairly cheap. I don't really expect anything more than 1 or 2 GP on each item. And uh, we're going to start with 10 mil and just see how it goes. Alright, let's get started. Alright everybody, we're about to get started. We have 1 hour on the clock. We're going to be flipping items under 100 GP. Uh, again, these are going to be under 100 GP for the buy price. I can sell them for whatever I want, but I have to buy them for any price under 100 GP. All right, let's go. So I had a bit of a strategy coming into this and um, I'm mainly gonna be using this high volume tab on GE Tracker because it has a really useful uh, filter at the top uh, which lets you filter down based on price, uh, buying quantity, stuff like that. So I just put the maximum price to be 100 coins, uh, put a minimum buying quantity, and there we go. So we got some recommended items. Also, Clan Chat recommended some stuff too. I don't know about that one, uh, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and use some of those as well, probably. Uh, so some of the best items here I found uh, when I just kind of briefly scanned it. Uh, iron and knives actually had a very good margin. So let's have a look at iron and knives. Uh, 73 into uh, 71. So it's a little bit different now, but that's okay. Uh, still 2 GP, we'll go ahead and do uh, 7k I think is the limit for that one. Pretty sure it might actually stay on here. Yeah, looks like it's 7,000. And uh, next up I was thinking of doing the iron darts. Now they don't trade as much as the uh, knives do, but uh, they're really cheap. Still 300,000 a day, I mean it's not that bad. We'll go ahead and buy uh, 10,000 of those. It really doesn't cost us very much money. Uh, moving on. Uh, have a look at mithril darts. I'm pretty much going to try anything that uh, doesn't have a 1 GP margin on it. Because almost every item in the game has 1 GP on it at least. Uh, but just having a 1 GP margin can lead to it taking a long time to flip that item. Uh, mithril darts pretty good too. Let's just have a look at their buying quantity. Oh my god, so many trades of the day. And how much was the limit, or how much, uh, wow, 6 GP on that, that's insane. Uh, do 10,000 of those. Now, someone actually suggested gold bars, which luckily just sneak under the 100 GP cost, I'm pretty sure. Uh, bought them for 93, and uh, 90, we can do that. Yeah, 10k, whatever. Now, this is only 1 GP margin, so it's not great. But uh, we'll probably put it in there until we find a better item. Still 10k, not too bad, I guess. Alright, Salmon has a 5 GP margin on it as well. <laughs> not too bad. Uh, we'll have to see how much cooked Salmon actually comes in the game. And it's about the same. Uh, so I mean, 10k Salmon. Not too bad, I guess. Uh, we have some Mithril Darts coming in. Nothing else. Uh, oh wait, never mind. We got a ton of Chaos Runes. Um, yeah, not bad. <laughs> All right, I remember doing bowstrings quite a lot. Uh, they tended to have a two or three GP margin in them, and uh, did definitely flip pretty quickly. Uh, two GP on bowstrings, we'll definitely do that. And uh, 10k bowstrings, looks like we have some other stuff coming through as well. Uh, mainly the metal darts, as well as the chaos runes, but uh, other stuff is, I guess, slowly buying too. <laughs> so we just checked the steel dart tip, it's 55 into 90. Uh, which is probably incorrect because uh, that would be a little crazy. How many of these are traded per day? Oh my god, quite a lot. So I guess we'll just do this and hope maybe that we somehow get such a crazy margin. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely we might as well take a risk on something like this. All right, so we bought a uh, 10,000 bow strings and more. Uh, we also got 10 or 5,000 of the steel darts pretty much exactly and um, so we'll sell the bow strings off quickly see if we can actually check it again or if we kind of fuck that up like we always do pretty well um, no we can still sell them uh, we bought the bow strings for 88 
Kind of nice if we can sell them for 90 at least, but oh well, whatever. Uh, we're going to plop these into sell. Uh, we'll put them in for 89, uh, which is kind of a crazy price. But uh, if we manage to sell that, that'd be quite a nice amount of profit. Okay, so guys, we have sold off all the steel dart tips. That is crazy. Uh, we definitely lucked out there. Uh, we haven't bought a whole lot more. I feel like we must have got undercut. Uh, so we'll pull out the steel dart tips. That's a quite nice amount of profit there. We've sold off the bowstrings as well. And uh, cast runes are selling. Fuck the sand. Actually, are buying pretty slowly, granted, but uh, they are buying. Mithril darts are buying. We might plop those in the cell now. Mithril darts. Seems like ammunition might be the best call for this uh, under 100 challenge. One for 40. Pretty sure it was like a six or seven uh, margin on there. We'll plop them in here for 46, uh, which is not terrible. Seem to still be buying for 90, uh, but now they're are selling for 90 but they're buying for 62 now uh, still a pretty good margin on that so we'll definitely do that still uh, we'll just uh, bump that up a bit more 63 and uh, let's do 4700 just so we can check it later all right adamant arrows have a 1 GP margin on it I mean like it's quite possible I could flip 10k of these pretty quickly so we'll just do that uh, chaos rune sold uh, we got a 10k profit from that uh, actually we got some iron darts buying uh, which is pretty nice because they did have a decent margin on those ones. And uh, we got one more offer slot to fill probably. Okay, the Steel Arrow has a 2 GP margin on it, uh, which we'll definitely take advantage of. Assuming that's 10k as well. And uh, we have one offer slot left to mess around with or possibly pop in one of these items to sell. Uh, but we still have 40 minutes left, so we might wait a little longer. Okay, we found another item with a pretty large margin, Snapegrass. 43 into 75. So uh, once this loads, you can see Snapegrass actually trades almost a million every day. Uh, so we'll definitely go ahead and buy some Snapegrass. Hopefully we can keep that margin. Wow. Okay. So we sold all that Snapegrass already. Uh, let's just have a quick look at how much we probably made off that. 24 minus 44 times 3,000. That's 90k right there. That's crazy. Even items like this, you can see, actually can have big margins if just so happens there isn't any competition at the time for the item I uh, can get quite lucky uh, which is pretty nice I've never actually experienced such a good margin on an item like that I've got some more snake grass coming in and uh, yeah all you have to do is really cut off the items that aren't working uh, missile darts um, not working but you can see like we're still selling steel darts and we're gonna look at look at the margin like that's really really good for the prices um, having a 30 GP, GB margin on an item that's only 100 is very good. Okay, we've sold off all our snake grass again, and uh, we've got not a whole lot more yet. We got 92 more, uh, but that's another 60 or 70k or something. Not bad at all. We'll probably just wait till we have a little more snake grass before we dump the rest in. Okay, so we bought all the snake grass, and uh, we're in the process of selling the rest of this. Uh, pull that out. Sold a nice amount of it already. I'll uh, pop the rest in for 74 since it sells quite quickly. I'm not even sure what the limit is on the same grass, but obviously it's at least 10k. And uh, steel dart tips, uh, we haven't sold in a while. Just pull those up for now. Uh, that way we have just more offer slots to mess around with. And uh, yeah, we still have 20 minutes left. Maple, long bows, unstrung. And bottom for 86. Maybe we can sell them for, and not those ones. A decent profit, 83. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna kind of depend on the item. If we think we could actually, is it longbow and strung? I think so. If we could actually sell those in time, I might consider it. Uh, actually, two million, two million a day. That's a fair amount. Uh, just gonna undercut a little bit here. Maybe we can get 10k. Yeah, I mean we could do some oak logs. Uh, three GP is pretty decent. It's just I feel like I'm running out of time now. Okay, the unpowered orb must trade a lot. It seems to have a 5 GP margin. Uh, yeah, let's do the unpowered orb. And uh, I'll plop it in there. Okay, it has a 3 GP margin. I fucked that up a bit. Oh well. Uh, we're out of ideas here, so we'll do 10,000 of those. And uh, really slow down a little bit now, unfortunately. We have 1, 2, 3 items not selling at all. Okay, so we bought all the unpowered orbs. That is uh, pretty nice. We're going to pop them in there for... Uh, 28, I guess, uh, so it'll be 20k in profit. 
Uh, not too shabby. It'd be kind of nice if we get a little bit more on these. Uh, I don't know if there's enough time. Okay, so we have totally sold off nearly quite a few things. Uh, the buckets of sand we did totally sell. Um, steel arrows are nearly sold. Maple longbows are nearly sold. Iron darts are really almost sold. And at this point, we're just going to wait for this stuff to sell. Hopefully we can get it all sold in time. These missile darts definitely have dropped. Uh, I think they may have gone down to 38. Uh, that's based on nothing really, but uh, that was their medium price before I checked on GE Tracker. Uh, so we'll pop them there and see if they sell, otherwise we might take a loss on them. Okay, so we've sold off quite a few more things. We have about 7 minutes left. Uh, maple longbows, all sold off. I uh, got about 20k in there. I think we got about a 20k loss on these ones, maybe more. Uh, steel arrows, got a very marginal profit on that. Uh, iron darts are nearly all sold. Alright guys, uh, we only have about a minute left and we did successfully sell all the same grass off, uh, which is pretty nice. Iron darts, uh, we have a couple left to sell and the unpowered orbs uh, unfortunately didn't sell at all, so we'll have to dump those for whatever we can. I'm very surprised how well we actually did. I, this could have gone either way, it could have been like 50k in profit over the hour, uh, but I think we're, we're going to be closer to three or 400, uh, which is pretty good considering all these items are under 100 GP they don't have any margin really for the most part we did find a couple good items mainly the snake grass and uh, oh we got more of those in the inventory and the steel dart tips uh, so really pretty impressed with uh, some of the items in this category and it kind of just goes to show that even if you don't have a lot of money uh, you can still end up with some pretty good margins ow okay so there we go, uh, timer's up, we'll go ahead and dump the rest of these items and we'll see how much we actually managed to make. So we'll sell off the iron darts quickly, steel dart tips quickly as well, maybe not so quickly. Uh, unpowered orbs are where the bulk of our money is left here. For some reason all the actual prices seem to be much lower than what their G price seems to be. Fuck it, we're going to put it in for 1 GP. Okay, we didn't get screwed, good. And uh, same with these ones here. Iron darts, get rid of these. Okay, so we'll go ahead and claim all the money. Alright, so let's see how much we made in one hour of flipping items under 100 GP in value. We have made 534k, and I'm actually very happy with that. That is very good, considering the price of the items, like I already said. Uh, again, the uh, snake grass, by far the best item. Steel dart tips are pretty good too. And uh, for items like this, I really think you just need to find, you need to find an, a popular undiscovered item and I know it's kind of hard to do it needs to be an item that trades a lot but I might not be having someone flipping it because you can still get crazy margins like 30 GP on an item that is cheap uh, you just have to find the right item alright guys hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video